Hello. This short film is to help you understand the internal parts of a solenoid valve and how to check that it is working properly should you have any issues with your application. Please note that a solenoid valve is designed to work in only one direction. If you have other requirements, you, we can probably help you if you contact us by email or our free phone number on 0800 808 7799. First, ensure that the solenoid valve is switched off, otherwise the coil could be damaged, and make sure that the valve is isolated from its media. Remove these bolts. And then lift off the top half of the valve. Keeping your fingers underneath to avoid dropping the internal parts. Now carefully draw out the plunger and the seal and lay the brass body part aside. Look at the internal parts and you will see that there is a piston and a spring here and here and a diaphragm, a flexible diaphragm. Inspect the seal for cleanliness and check the small hole in the centre. Sometimes the hole is at the side. When you operate the solenoid valve, this lifts and opens the hole and allows the valve to work. Look into the tube to make sure that there are no foreign bodies inside and that no lime scale has built up. Also make sure that the tube is not bent. Make sure that the plunger has free travel up and down the tube and it's not restricted in any way. If your valve has a spring here holding the diaphragm and the plunger, the narrow end of the spring should be fitted onto the plunger to make sure it doesn't pop over the edge. Reassemble the valve, not forgetting this little spring in the top. And tighten up the four bolts. Note the direction of travel. This valve is clearly marked in and out. Sometimes there is an arrow on the bottom here showing the direction. This particular valve is what we call a zero rated or assisted lift valve. If you have a valve which is pilot operated, then you may find that this coil uh, conjunction is, is slightly off center. And when you put it back together, you should make sure that this stem goes over the outlet port, not over the inlet port, otherwise it won't work. It should go that way round over the outlet port. I hope that's clear. Thank you for looking at our little film. I hope it's been helpful for you. If you have any uh, questions or you would like some help, we're only too ready to give free advice and our telephone number is on our website and it's 0800 808 
999, Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 6. Goodbye. <laughs>